Chart. Let's go to Sheila Damarajan. Well, Tom, my favorite headline from the weekend about Cyprus was the word transmogrify. How much it has changed. Oh. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a great word, right? To yes. alter in a surprising way, but how much the European crisis now is back on the table. Also reminding people all the other risks that are out there when it comes to the equity markets. So Dan Greenhouse from BTIG, he says, look, one of the risks out there that people are forgetting about, gas prices. So here's a chart of the S&P 500 uh, tracking along with gas prices you can see there. Now here's the thing. In the past four instances when gas prices have actually exceeded $4 a gallon, here's yeah. what you see here, a pullback in equities. We are right now at that level. You can talk about what's happening in Europe. You can talk about what's happening in D.C. But let's not forget about what's happening with gas prices and the correlation that we've seen with the S&P pulling back at the same time. I agree. It, it, there's, there's just a hurdle. I don't know where that hurdle is. You're suggesting it's $4? That's what the data is suggesting is $4. That is when it really starts to hit the consumer's wallet as well. People start to pull back. And look, historically, you can see that the S&P has pulled back as well. It's, um, it, it's, it's there with the equity markets, and you really wonder. We're going to reframe this with Dean Kernan later, but mm -hmm. with futures negative 100 right now as we speak, we've had, boy, it's been a glorious ride so far this year. It has been a glorious ride this year, but now the question is, especially with what's happening in Europe, can it continue? Are we going to really see a pullback as a choice? Did the Europeans just reignite the crisis with the decision over in Cyprus?